In the Wisconsin High School Wrestling Rankings, the top three teams in Division I are all in the Valley Conference. Now that the Badger basketball team is out of the NCAA tournament, thank goodness we've got Badger football to look forward to. The Spash softball team won the state championship last season, but will face some challenges at the beginning of this season. First of all, the Panthers have some minor injury issues to work through. The Brewers have had some luck with rookie pitchers this season. Mark Rogers has Mike Fires has a shot at Rookie of the Year, and Willie Peralta won his first start last week. Switching to football, the NFL is moving forward with some rules changes implemented this past season. If you remember, every touchdown now has to be reviewed by a replay official. Now that replay rule is going to apply to turnovers as well. Several sources have confirmed that Wisconsin running back Monty Ball is staying in Madison for a senior season. A lot of pundits out there say it's conceivable. The NFC North can send three teams to the playoffs this season. Russell Wilson is one of five Wisconsin players getting set for the Senior Bowl in Mobile, Alabama. Saturday's game showcases some of the top college football seniors from last season. It took just two years for the Greenwood Grand football team to go from worst to first, and we catch up with last year's D7 champs as we continue our countdown to kickoff. Ryan Braun has failed a test for performance-enhancing drugs. Senior Associate Athletic Director John Chatima has resigned from his position. The Bucks had their six-game win streak broken on Thursday night, so what do you do after that? try to start a new streak. The Bucks' next eight opponents starting tonight are a combined 59 games under 500. The resume for Sheila Mish is impressive. She's sixth on the all-time wins list in Division Three and owns an NCAA record, 70 straight conference wins. Mish is the only women's head soccer coach in the program's history. Her replacement hasn't yet been announced, but she says the program is in a good position for continued success. Wisconsin's Monty Ball already had the Big Ten record for touchdowns with 27. That's about two and a half scores every game. The Nielsville girls basketball team completed an undefeated season this weekend as the Warriors took home the gold ball in Division 4. And that's all we have for sports on this Sunday. Nate, back to you.